Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 21st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew. Checking out here first our sun, as we have a couple sunspots to talk about, and as well an equatorial coronal hole, which will be affecting us within the next three days. So we could have some space weather around Christmas time. As well, the temperatures will be plunging. We'll see who will be having a white Christmas in the five-day forecast towards the end of the video. Right now, we're looking at a semi-active sun as a couple sunspots have showed up. As well, the coronal hole is growing. Southern region moving towards the equator. That is Earth-facing coronal hole. And as well, you can see the couple bright sunspot regions coming in. Beautiful images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory as we look at our sun throughout the Christmas season and the first day of winter. That's right. Winter solstice officially starts today. And today is officially the shortest day of the year. Looking at 304 angstroms here, you can really see some plasma, large plasma loops jumping off of the sun. Beautiful images. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it has been very busy. We had a coronal hole wind stream affecting us. Wind speeds picked up to over 450 kilometers per second. And we watched seismic activity increase across the planet. Deep earthquakes. And then, of course, larger, shallower earthquakes. But over the last 24 hours, most recent and notable is this 5.2 here in Argentina, in Ishua, Argentina. 18 kilometer depth is most recent. And as well, the largest earthquake the last 24 hours was the 6.1 in Jarm, Afghanistan yesterday. At a 200 kilometer depth, pretty deep thrust earthquake as well, 5.2 here in Japan. Definite, definitely seeing an uptick in seismicity throughout California, San Andreas Fault Line as well, the Aleutian Islands, Cascadia Fault Line. Also here in Hawaii, 3.2. That's most recent. That's the most action they've had over the last seven days. And then most recently today, Mid-Atlantic Ridge going off and as well the Rick Jane Ridge yesterday, 4.6. So plates across the world, large plate tectonic movement when we have a coronal hole. Wind stream affecting us. So a little bit of space weather, believe it or not, can increase the earthquakes and deeper earthquakes cause sh larger, shallower earthquakes. I was going to put out an earthquake warning video two nights ago when there was a deep, deep earthquake in Fiji, not 500, even deeper, a 630 kilometer depth. And I was going to put out an earthquake warning towards Southeast Asia and the India plate line. And then sure enough, Jarm, Afghanistan, 6.3 downgraded to a 6.1. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of deep earthquakes the last seven days. As space weather has been affecting us a little bit. We have some sunspots coming in, so expect some more space weather to affect us in the coming days. A lot of movement west side of the Ring of Fire. An increasing movement across the North American plate. So stay aware and prepared and have a plan, my friends. God bless humanity. Let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center around the world at the latest disasters. Uh, looking at extreme cold temperatures across Alaska and Northwest Territories into Canada. Also watching large low pressure systems affecting BC, Washington coastline. And the Pacific Disaster Center has been riddled recently with all of the updates in Australia. Devastating and apocalyptic situation happening over there over 50 degrees celsius 
and these fires that have been burning for over two months. This is satellite imagery that lasts to six weeks over Queensland and New South Wales since the fires broke out. They've had no breaks, no rain, no relief. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across Australia as you have an extreme heat wave affecting you guys right now. Most recent here as well, 5.2 Argentina. Large low pressure system affecting the South America right now as well. And we have Tropical Depression 30 who has just formed and will be heading towards the Philippines in the coming days. So a Christmas day tropical storm for the Philippines. And it looks like it's going to be picking up a lot of moisture over the coming days. Speaking of moisture, across the United States, flooding conditions, southeast and as well central. It's just been a horrible year for harvest and crops across the nation. So stay aware and prepared and be ready for a global food spike in prices as we have suffered one of the largest agricult agricultural losses due to extreme weather across the planet. Every continent is feeling this right now. And as well, many avalanche risks here across the Canadian Rockies and the United States as that huge low pressure system has been bringing feet of snow across the Rockies. And this is early, but it is now winter, but still, it's been snowing for over six weeks in the Rockies. Let's get to weather here, brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, five day forecast. Watching large low pressure systems coming in off of the Aleutian Islands, which will be bringing a butt ton of moisture for Alaska and the BC coastline. In the coming days, are you gonna have a white Christmas? Most likely, Western Canada will have a, wet, a white Christmas. Eastern, maybe not so much. As the temperature swings up and down, as we still have that intertropical convergence, as we are now the first day of solstice of winter, beginning the winter solstice the first day of winter sorry but yes again merry christmas happy holidays stay safe over the holidays throughout ontario you could see a mixed bag of precipitation across the northwestern rockies united states a lot of snow atmospheric river affecting you guys in the coming days and colder temperatures are getting ready to be pushed South, are you ready for winter? Because we are here. Happy first day of winter and an early Christmas wish to you. Please check out my video that I made for all of my friends and family from around the world. A little Canadian Pacific holiday train video for you. Link is right here. Overlooking southeastern United States, Watts is just large low pressure system heads across Florida and develops like a hurricane into the Atlantic. We're going to be watching that. I'm going to put out a special video over the next coming days because we have a situation developing across the planet as we've been talking about for the past couple of years. Overlooking Europe, still many low pressure vortices affecting the Mediterranean. Watches heavy snow amounts in Turkey and Syria as that low pressure system spins and spins in the Mediterranean and these cold temperatures from Russia keep getting fueled down. That's right, it's snowing in Turkey and Syria. Merry Christmas to all and to all those who are lucky enough to have a white Christmas, it's always nice. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. That's right. So this is tropical storm number 30. Won't be a white Christmas over in the Philippines, but it will be a wet one as it heads across into Manila and Merida. Across Africa, watch for the daily evaporation to start picking up over the coming days and 
cooler temperatures heading into the northern parts of Africa. In South America, same thing, daily evaporation. Australia, no relief, not much relief. They're getting some rain across northeastern Australia later in the week. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by this major heat wave in Australia. Please share this video with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. And as well, a Merry Christmas to you. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Bye-bye. God bless. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.